Okay, good morning, Uncle. Good, good morning, morning, good morning, 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 morning. Okay. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so, I, I didn't rest for the past two days. I know, I can tell. Yeah, yeah okay. I can tell, so that's really good. All right. That's really good. Okay, Uncle, so we're, we're approaching, or we're going for that 21-day session you said. Okay. You said, anything you do for 21 days consistently right. becomes a habit. A habit. Yes, so, we're not chasing anything right now. Right. We're chasing a habit. Right. Something that we want to become your habit. Yes, exactly. So today, the habit is, as you know, we're going to start off, we always start off with the hoofing. Hooping, yeah. To activate all the lower muscles yeah. all the way to the back. Yeah. Secondly, I'm going to take us through it. So we hoofing and then Oh, yeah, you take us through. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you take me through. <laughs> one more time. Uh -huh. So from tomorrow, you take me through. Okay. Okay, so Move number in. one, roofing. Yeah. Activation of muscles okay. from lower lower body all the way to the upper body. Okay. The back. Two, tension. So tension. Or tension in every direction possible because yeah. your muscles go in every direction yeah so whatever direction you can get squeeze it tense it mold it okay two number three breathe that's number three right it is number three but it is actually the most important one yeah yeah so number three is actually the most most important part of everything we're doing here because oxygenated blood equals Clean blood equals healthy blood equals healthy lifestyle. Yeah. So it is the most important part. And last but not least, number four. Anything you do, you have to add and inject fun into it. Okay. In order for it to become a habit you love doing. Yeah. So Uncle, today we're going to, as you can see, I brought these mm -hmm. instruments here. Yeah. You know what to do with them. Yeah. As you know, we go around, we do what we do. And then we come and we do what we have to do. Alrighty. So let's get straight into it. Let's right. go. Time is not. Time. Time, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, let's get straight into it. Let's go. The Bluetooth device is ready to pass. Use it play motor.
wasting, you're not resting, you're waiting on it. Yeah, when you're waiting, you're waiting.
truth. So many times the devil tells me I'm not something. I always say I am that. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made.
Hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
good day indeed. Okay, so. Ah. Oh, what's our final lesson for today? Let me try that. Okay, yeah. So, it's a brilliant session today. I think this is our most intense session yet. Okay. But I also think it's our most fun session because now you're really comfortable and you're a lot more energetic uh -huh. and you're getting into it and you're sweating faster. We've only done what? About half hour. More than that. More than that. Yeah. But you, you started sweating way before. Okay. So today's lesson is about knowledge and nyansa. Okay. Knowledge and nyansa. Because people, yeah. someone, if I say, what is not, what is nyansa? What would you say? You just say smart, yes. Uh -huh. and, a, and a smart person is knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So people tend to associate those two words. But the English dictionary makes it very clear what knowledge is. Mm -hmm. And according to the English dictionary, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. And according to the English dictionary, knowledge is acquired through experience or education. Meaning that Ghanaians have the wrong idea that you have to be educated to have knowledge. Yet knowledge itself states that I'm acquired in two different ways, experience or education. Now, when you carry on reading, it tells you what encompasses that of knowledge wisdom, intuition, this, that, that. So, when you compare that to Nyansa, where they can't speak of the same thing when they said Nyansa, if you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. Were they referring to the same thing? Yeah. Okay. I say they were, but they took it one step further to tell you more about knowledge. Because they said Nyansa, Nya, and Sa. Nya and Sa. Remember we spoke about the Jinyami side, and I showed you the two hands, one coming from above, one coming from down. Now, like I said, above is the hand of God, and below is the suffering hand of man. And the idea is when they reach, when they meet, it means your offering has been accepted by God. Therefore, when He, when he touches you in the spiritual world, then what will happen? Everything that is yours, will be yours, including healing. Mm -hmm. So, our people are referring to that. What for someone to have it all, to get intelligent, knowledge and this, they're saying it's not your might. You can study as much as you want. You can have all the books in your house. It's still not your might. Nyansa is when you receive the hand of God. Nya and Sa. And then they describe it in the Jinya sign. Nya and Sa. You see what I mean? Nyamensa. And Nyamensa is, you see what I mean? And then you see the hand of God, but they do not represent the hand of God. They leave it spaceless because God is spirit. So when we say Nyansa, it is deeper than saying knowledge. It is everything knowledge is. And then it, it brings in the spiritual aspect because it tells you to receive a hand. But you have to think, what hand? Whose hand? And then it directs you. Nyamensa. You see what I mean? Yeah. So they don't leave the question out there. We know that in our language we say nyamensa mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. That is a phrase we use. So if someone if our language then tells you to receive a hand, then there's only one hand. Our language is telling you to receive the hand of God. You see what I mean? So see. So Knowing that someone is book smart, yeah. can pass every question, makes that person knowledgeable, but not necessarily. Yes. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Makes the person knowledgeable, yes, but not necessarily. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. comprises the spiritual aspect, the, the humanity aspect of the Do you see what I mean? Okay, and before you are if you are kind of say, that's not if you you see, they've broken it down. They've broken it down. They're telling you that there are two. You see what I mean? There are two. If you have this, 
doesn't mean you have this. Yeah. But you can comprise both. Yeah. And that's where I believe it becomes out of the knowledge sphere and becomes nyansa. Because when you comprise both, means in the spiritual world. Because if I meet you physically, I'm cool, yeah? and you're passing every exam I give you, then I meet you spiritually and you're weak over there. I'm still going to win. Yeah. You see what I mean? Because I'll meet you in the spirit first, yeah. win over there. Therefore, even though you're sharp in the physical world, yeah. I've defeated you in the spirit. Right. You're going to be you're going to be meek against me. You're going to be there. Yeah. You're going to lose. Yeah. So Nyansa tells you that. You, know, you you have to be sharp in, in both both edges. So the double edged sword basically. And the only way you can do that is by the hands of God. And you leave it there. It's you know,